Back up. Okay, so this week is just really going to be a bunch of odd hunts. This is the two two I'm going to be using for most of them. Um, I've got a koi pond just over there, and there are two geese just over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try to get through these sheep, and then if I can get through the sheep, and I can get a save somewhat of a position to shoot from, I'll shoot one of those geese. Behind a tree. Very happy with my position. Okay. Not sure if I managed to get him. He didn't fly very far, I think I went a little bit high and a little bit lower. It's so one goose down, but you might land again a little bit further away. But that is perfect, he's in the land over there. Just put a reservoir between us and him. Go try shoot. Okay guys, that is about a hundred meters. The distance I shot my first goose at. Um, this is about 250 meters and this is with a 2-2. This is not with a proper rifle. Oh, I guess a 2-2 is a proper rifle, but... What I'm trying to say is it's not a very easy shot to make. 303, 375, any of those guns you can aim on at this distance and you would nail it, but this one is not a not something you can aim on. on. See that goose is it too far? Maybe if I get a dead rest off that post, I can eat just try. If I get this, this is like a hundred and something meter shot. Oh, there it flies. I really enjoyed that shot. It was facing me, chest up. Goose. Not through the back here. Couldn't have actually done it better even if I tried. Beautiful big goose. And this is what is known in South Africa and pretty much the whole of Africa you get these geese. They are <laughs> Egyptian geese. And there it is. First hunt of this video barefoot and um, yeah beautiful beautiful goose so I was uh, all the way over there those trees over there look at that beautiful colored eye so these guys are prized by people around the world when they come and hunt in South Africa now, most people want to shoot one of these in pristine condition like I've just done but uh, most of them are actually shot with uh, Shotguns while flying, not really shot on a while well, sitting here at these puddles. But I've got a koi fish pond right there that we just walked past, and um, I don't want these guys eating a couple hundred rands worth of koi. So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful duck. There's two Indian miners on the lawn. Um, now let's see if we can maybe get to my brother's room, get a 2-2 out and just maybe nail one of them. I don't know if you can see them over there under that tree. This is a GoPro so it doesn't have zoom. Let's see if we can maybe just walk this way. Get to my brother's room without them noticing. One 
this Indian miner. <sighs> might hop a bit and might try fly. Because I only nicked him. <laughs> That's one less Indian miner. I don't know about you guys, all around the world, but this bird is such a problem. As I shot, he hopped, and that's why I just nicked him. But uh, glad I got him. Not even the cats will eat those birds. Bloody Indian miners, let's see if we can get hold of them. There it goes. <laughs> Down it goes. Hey! Hey, puppy! Perfect shot on an Indian miner. No! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Good girl! Bring it here! Bring it here! Bring it here! Good girl! Good girl! Such a good girl! Look at that! Good girl! Uh uh, no, no, no biting, no biting. Softly, softly, softly. I've got it, it's not going anywhere, see? And that is how you slowly train your dog how to retrieve. This is the new little pup we've got. And uh, she's not the best yet, but uh, she'll get there. She'll get there. Yeah, look. Good girl, good girl. Sit, 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 sit. Sit. Fetch it. Bring it here. Come. Hey, bring it. <laughs> this dog doesn't know what to do with it. Come, bring it here. Oh, fetch it. Come, fetch it. Good girl, yeah. See this, see this, see this, see this, see this. Fetch it. Bring it here. Come, bring it. Good girl, bring it here. Bring it here. To me, to me, to me. Oh, good girl. That's her first retrieve, guys. <laughs> that is her first retrieve. Such a good girl. <gasps> Such a good girl. Okay, you wanna do it again? Wanna do it again? Wanna do it again? Wanna do it again? Okay, good girl. Good girl. Fetch it. Fetch it. Bring it here. Bring it here. To me, come. Hey, bring it here. Oh, bring it here. Yeah, hey, bring it to me. Oh, such a good girl. <laughs> yes, Aristo, success. Huh? Success. Good girl. Good girl. Such a good girl. I don't know if you guys can hear it over the camera, but these Indian miners are like a flipping invading army. So I'm just going to use the air arms pellet gun and just grab some pellets quickly and uh, see if i can get one or two sounds like it's a metry over there shit man not in focus that was a hit Ah, oh, there we are, it goes down. Find a bird. Find it. Find it. Go find a bird. Find a bird. Find it. Go seek one. Find a bird. Yeah, find a bird. Good girl. Bring it here. Come. Bring it. Bring it here. Come. Just smelling it. Come, girl. Bring it here. Bring it to me. Good girl. Bring it here. Bring it here. Come. Hey. Bring it here. Bring it here. 
Oh, other dog scaring her now. Come here. Come here. Oh, such a good girl. Such a good girl. Good girl. Okay. Okay. Now you can drop it. Good girl. So that, guys, is the invasive Indian miner. Uh, it is the summer, so these guys start start moving into areas where they haven't ever been before or not haven't ever been before but we where you've shot the other ones out during the winter um so yeah looking for new places to breed and new places to move into okay so we've got just one last little hunt on this video we're gonna go and see if we can maybe shoot a diker so james you want to drive or must i drive okay thank you two in here but I didn't actually see them I think they were both females I never actually got a good look at them I only saw the ones on this stretch okay I think we can stop right here you ready for this put camera's still good Right, you can walk in the shade, I'll walk in the, in the middle here. Yeah. yeah. Just remember the house is that way, eh? It has to run this way all... Dike up! <laughs> what a miss! I did, got no excuse. No. James Dyker between us. <laughs> I hit it. I think I broke a leg. I don't see it, Jay, James. I think it might be in the trees here. Don't shoot, I'm here! And that's my friends. Stay, 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 stay. Is how you shoot a diker running away. Nice little ram. Perfect. Okay. No. Yes. Camera rolling. Yep. There we are, ladies and gents. James Dyker between us. So the long and the short of it is uh, we have shot, or well, I have shot a little male diker with a 375 with a monolithic solid. Um, so this little guy is actually going to be biltong for myself when I go on holiday in December um, down to the Kruger National Park. I'll be taking some diker biltong. As you saw, I shot this guy on full run, which is absolutely perfect. I've been wanting to do one of those for a long time on a diker. But yeah, perfect, perfect little diker. 
So the word diker actually refers to the Afrikaans word deker, which means to duck or to dive. This guy actually has the ability to get out of the way of a speeding dart um, or a speeding arrow. So very, very hard animal to actually shoot. So yeah. <laughs> awesome. So in case you guys were wondering, that is done with a 375 Winchester with a solid. So awesome, awesome round. As you can see, it actually does about the same amount of damage as a 2-2 Hornet would do. So yeah, if you're using solids, if you were using something else, it would look like that poor hardy dog. <laughs> so it's good enough. Thanks, Putty. So I just wanted to show you where we at. We drove the old vehicle and left it over there at those trees. We had two antelope, uh, between here and there and uh, I just want to show you it goes all the way down to those trees over there um, it's just full up um, with the uh, diker they're probably 12 10 12 in this piece and um, because all the fields are off um, yeah they need cover and that means good hunting for us <laughs> there's the carcass of the antelope you saw me shoot while I was running I have just field rested, so I've taken in and out. Um, yeah, I didn't want to show you all those gruesome details because a lot of people would complain. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to skin it and uh, then I'll work it a bit later, put my secret, secret spices onto it and then it will be ready to hang up and dry. Usually I do this outside, um, but there are just millions and millions and millions of flies at the moment. I mean, even in here, I've just sprayed doom. But uh, like this was me leaving the door open for just a few seconds. I mean, there's probably about 60 flies in here. So um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead, skin this guy, and then I'll show it to you when it's, once it's done. So there's our little diker hanging in the corner. There it is. So um, unfortunately the one leg got a little bit messed because that's where the bullet went in and it came out over here. So I had to cut away some of that meat because obviously did come in contact with uh, the stomach fluids which will make it go rotten very quickly. So we've got a fan in here, a little uh, blue light so that will kill, also known as a black light, that will kill bacteria and so we'll leave this guy hanging here for about three to five days, we'll firm him up, it will dry him out a little bit, um, leave this as a drip tray underneath him and yeah just got to clean up next door here where I sorted him and all's good so please if you haven't done so please hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see you next week